Our next and last speaker is a fellow whom we all know who has really interesting speeches that he's given in the past. The title of his is The Name Game. And it's speech number seven from the basic. His uh, objective is research your topic. Five to seven minutes. He is an actor thespian. He runs a public theater in South Florida. He's an attorney for immigration and criminal defense. I'd like to introduce David Bernstein. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, I am about to date myself and a number of you in the room, I suspect. On your table, you should see at least one or two copies of this. It is the lyrics to a song from 1965 by a woman named Shirley Ellis called The Name Game. For those of you who don't know it, or perhaps for those of you who do, but don't want to admit that you know it. The song goes like this. Shirley, Shirley, Bo Burley, Banana, Fana, Bo Burley, Be Fine, Mo Murley, Shirley. Lincoln, Lincoln, Bo Binkin, Banana, Fana, Bo Finkin, Be Fine, Mo Minkin, Lincoln. And then Shirley Ellis goes on to describe the rules that she implies to come up with the variations on the names in the name game. And it can be kind of fun, but it's also very stupid. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the world's most stupid songs. But somehow or other, it came into my mind the other day, and it wouldn't get out. And I believe that for the rest of the day, I've done the same thing to most of you. So you're going to be walking around going, Shirley, Shirley, Mulberry, well, I'm sorry. But that got me thinking about names and where they come from and which names are the most popular. So I'm going to return now to the podium. That probably deserves a, a ding. <laughs> also on your table, you should have my little handy dandy name chart. Obviously, I could not research every name that exists. So I picked a few, sort of at random, sort of for reasons. I started with my own, uh, as Shirley did, as Shirley did in the name game. As you can see, uh, the name David has historically been rather popular in the United States. In 1960, it was the number two male name in the United States. And then, I of course was born in 1960, so it was a good year for the name David. And then, as we progress towards the present day, David fell out of favor just a little bit, as you can see. In the 70s it was number four, in the 80s it was number five, and in 2006, which was the most recent statistic I could come up with, it was down to 13, 13 but still well within the top 100. And then that got me thinking, well, if David's number 13, what in the world could be number one? So I looked, and the name Jacob, actually, in 2006 was number one. And it's interesting because if you look at the history of the name Jacob, as we go back in time a little bit, it was much less popular than it is now. In fact, in the 1970s, no, I'm sorry, in the 1960s, when David was number two, Jacob was actually 261. What does that indicate? Are biblical names becoming more popular as we move forward into the 21st century? Something to think about. And as far as women are concerned, the number one name Is Emily. Emily is the number one.
number one name today. Isn't that interesting? Who meets a lot of Emily's all the time? Yeah. Anybody else know a lot of Emily's? I don't meet too many Emily's. I don't know why that is. But uh, Emily is, in fact, the number one name. But if we take a look at the history of Emily, only as recently as 1950, it was number 261. 261 in the 60s, actually. I'm sorry. The chart should be bigger. It's a little difficult to read. In order to bring this home to the rest of Club Awesome, I decided to explore a fraternal competition of sorts. As we know, uh, the name Jacob, which is very popular, Jacob is actually biblical. It comes from Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau, of course, were twin brothers. The story, as most people know it, is Jacob was, as coming out of the womb, Jacob grabbed the heel of his brother Esau and tried to supplant him. And that, in fact, is listed as the name on biblicalbabynames.com, the main the meaning of the name Jacob is to supplant, to replace, because Jacob was trying to pull Esau back by the heel. Well, it just so happens we have a pair of twin brothers here with us in Club Awesome. <laughs> William and Joseph Thomas. William, of course, is generally known as Bill, but the name is William. And if we take a look at the ratings of William and Joseph, both of those